guys welcome back to the channel i hope everybody's doing well today today uh we put in the tesla wall charger right here it was pretty easy to do but it's kind of intimidating because whenever you're thinking about the the power panel or the meter that's running electricity through the entire house let me show you This is running electricity through the entire house and it's kind of intimidating after you take this panel off right here. There's a lot of exposed wires and everything. And if you're touching the wrong thing or anything like that, you could get very seriously hurt. I don't know if, if you don't feel like you're up for it, I would recommend hiring a professional to do it. But if you're savvy and technical. I think you could do it and save like 500 to a thousand bucks. So, some things to know. This is the wall charger. I got very lucky that the panel is like very, the panel is nearby and um, the junction box right here. Uh, it's directly behind the panel and it's running um, home wiring through there if you guys can see kind of but um, I got very lucky that's that close and I was able to run it very quickly um, the wall charger has many options to run wiring into the panel itself so you could run wiring through the back through the top or through the bottom right here. <clears throat> what I did was uh, I didn't want to make things complicated or anything like that. I just knew I had a hole back here and um, I decided to run the wiring through the bottom of the wall charger. So my wall, it's not even drywall right here. It's like pegboard that I put up probably like 10 years ago. This garage was like bare back then so I put pegboard up and with the pegboard up um, there's empty gaps back there and the studs didn't line up to where I needed to mount the, the wall charger so what I did was I got plywood and I mounted the plywood to the studs and then I mounted the, the wall charger to the plywood and all of this stuff right here the PVC you get all of that in um, at Home Depot. It's pretty cheap. Brackets and everything. It's pretty cheap as well. Um, the wiring you need is six gauge. So what I did was I, you could buy a whole roll, a pre-made roll, but I couldn't find any at Home Depot um, in the length that I needed. I only needed like ten feet, probably like seven feet, but I went with ten just in case. Um, I went there and uh, got a custom cut of 6-3 six, six, wiring. So 6-3 wiring comes with a red wire, black wire, and a white wire that's 6 gauge. And then it comes with a bare wire that's copper. I went with the 6-3 because I wanted to use the black and red coloring for the wiring. I'll show you a, a little screenshot of how this looked before but I wanted to use the black and red and then the copper wiring instead of running a different color and then uh, marking it I just went with the 6.3 so I could have black red and copper so what I did was <clears throat> in the instructions I'll leave a screenshot right here of how you should run the wiring depending on how you run the wiring if you run it from the bottom they want you to loop it up and then into the spot. You run it from the top, you're going to loop it down and then into the spot. But um, I connected everything here and then ran the wiring through, through the hole. And I'll sh I took some pictures um, and pulled the wire through the other side. With the wiring through the other side, the breaker's gonna look something like this. Um, 
let me talk about the breakers really quick so on your panel depending on how many amps your panel is you're going to decide how big of a breaker you want um, right off the bat everybody wants to go with the max which is 60 but i went with a 50 right here 50 amps because my panel is 100 amps ac is taking 40 amps and i didn't want to just go straight off to the limit where ac and charging would take 100 amps so uh, i stepped it down a little bit to 50 amps that way i'll have a little buffering but um everything in the house i don't think is pulling too much electricity because back then like probably five ten years ago a lot of the lighting and things like that there are like over 100 watts each but nowadays it's like 5 10 15 watts LED lighting uh, the only thing that's taking a lot of electricity in the house right now is like heating the aquariums the reef tanks and things like that so originally <clears throat> I had an empty slot up here and a, a 15 amp breaker up here which was similar size to this. I had to, as you can see it's kind of full in here, I had to figure out how to move the thick break, the thick 15 amp breaker down here somehow and open up this uh, dual slot right here. So what I did was um, I had a thin slot open down here. I went to Home Depot and I took note of my panel manufacturer. So right here is like, it's telling me it's GE. And then if you look at your panel, see what breaker brand it is. So you see right here, it's GE. So you go to Home Depot, find the same brand breaker at Home Depot. So I went to Home Depot, got a thin 15 amp, and I moved the thick one, or I replaced it, or replaced the thick one with a thin one, and I moved that breaker down here, freeing up this spot right here. You guys are don't want to go to Home Depot, I'll leave a link in the description for a GE breaker. GE breaker, but usually like, Amazon charges more and this one right here I originally got it from Amazon but I bought the wrong the wrong brand I thought any brand would fit through I didn't even try it um, I saw some guy put in a different brand into into his uh, panel and it was like melting in there so I didn't want to do that so this one I bought the wrong brand I went to home Depot and I bought the GE brand right here so if you go to Home Depot it's, it's cheaper so once you, once you pull the wire through you'll see your breaker has two slots right here you undo this with the screw and you put the red and the black wiring through here All right and then the third wire is the ground wire when you remove this inside the panel there's a bar in there you'll see like a silver bar in there where all of the copper wire is attached to that's the ground and that's where you attach the ground once everything is wired up and all of that what you do is you see the hooks right here you hook it in one side and you just press it in you should see like a uh, metal tabs in there that the breaker right here connects to. You see these two metal parts right here? It connects to two, two metal tabs on the back. All right, so once all of that's connected, you flip the breaker on and you'll see this light uh, pulse and that's commissioning your Tesla wall charger what it wants you to, wants you to do is um, 
get into the charger through the Wi-Fi. So what you do is you go into settings, go into Wi-Fi, and you look for the Tesla wall charger on the on the Wi-Fi list and tap into it. And then on your pamphlet, you should have a Wi-Fi password to get into the Tesla charger. So once you enter that, um, you're connected to the charger. Um, you go to IP address. Uh, I'll leave it up on the screen right here. You go to IP address and then that connects you into the charger where you can see an interface. And within there, you can set your breaker, whatever amp you used. So for me, I'm using 50 amps. So there's like five LEDs here. So 50 amps would light up four. I'll leave a diagram of how things should look but you could go as low as I think 20 and only one, one LED bar would light up right here. There's also a, a guide with the status, what all, the, all of the lights mean and everything like that. I'll, I'll add it in here so you guys can see the visualization. <clears throat> Overall, it was a straightforward process, which is pretty easy for me. Um, it's a little intimidating because I, I never worked in the back of the panel before but yeah I just wanted to do a quick video and put up the list of items you guys need because I had to do a little research to um, figure out what breaker I need and uh, what gauge wiring I need but yeah it's up to you on the breaker the wiring gauge is six gauge uh, I went with six uh, I went with six three you could go with two, uh, six, two, but I wanted the coloring of the wiring to be black and red. That's why I went with this uh, six, three wiring. Anyways, if you guys have any questions or anything like that, let me know in the comments section down below. But until then, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.